Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. This is Cold All Good here, aka the Suburban Ginger. And as you can see, we are about to start the back nine of the second round of the East Coast Classic, and All Good is in a premier position. Five under on the day so far, five clear of Michael Glickich of Canada and Robbie Shelton of the United States, and they are both in the clubhouse. So he's uh he's playing some stellar golf, ladies and gentlemen, as you know. Uh, hopefully this is another step on the road to the PGA Tour here on the Golf Club 2019. Before we get into it, ladies and gentlemen, again, make sure you leave a thumbs up, uh, leave, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, get those notifications on, post your comments down below, and uh, let's get right into it. We're, we've seen some uh, fantastic golf in part one of the second round. Let's see if it continues in part two. Okay, and the 10th hole... All right, going back into the wind here now. All right, all good with the driver. Well, I think you'll like that. And about 105 yards to the pin from here. And all good with sand wedge. This one's heading for the green. Just fantastic. Good shots continue. And this one's about four feet from the cup. And that putt will drop for birdie. And he will stay right where he is on the leaderboard after that hole. All right. Six under on the day. Just uh, keeping the hammer down. And moving on to the 11th hole. Number 11 long par three. You know, I was interviewing uh, Colt a little bit earlier uh, before he teed off today. And uh, I asked him, you know, uh, who were some of the people that he looked up to growing up? He said one of his favorite uh, characters from the past was actually Doc Holliday, the famed gunfighter. But uh, he said that he had wished that Holiday had gotten more Going recognition for being uh, a very, very good dentist, which he actually was. And he really wanted to advocate for uh, remembering Doc Holiday not only as an outlaw man, but as a well-known dentist, a respectable profession. I thought that was uh, very interesting to hear from the young man. And that approach is on the green. Quite a long putt ahead. Well, here we go for another birdie. Oh my gracious, that was close. Just missed on the low side there. And about four feet from the cup. And that putt will go for par. And as we check the standings, he's still in first after that one. And now we find ourselves on the 12th. Right, the 12th, long par four. The drive is uphill, the approach is downhill. And nothing wrong with that shot from 185 yards. Tucked very close to the front here, so the miss is long. I'll oh, go with six iron here. Going with the six iron. Oh, hanging in the air forever. And it just trickles on the front. That's a very, uh, very good play in the elevation there. All right, and he's on. This putt's for birdie. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. And they are sitting at seven under par for the event. 
Ah, seven under on the day. And now he has he has lapped the field. He's now 14 under. The nearest competitors, Gligic and Shelton, are a full seven shots back. And next up is a par four, folks. Just impressive stuff from all good today. Absolute clinic. And from 155 yards out. Eight iron for a second shot. Going with the eight iron here. Well, this is definitely heading towards the green. Another fairway, another green. Just, just as I said, I was on autopilot today. It's looking like 17 feet from here. Got a little sidewinder here for his birdie on the 13th. Maybe. Yes, sir! And no change for him leaderboard wise after that hole. This is a level of golf that we have not seen on the web.com tour for a long time, which means we're probably not going to be seeing it too much longer. As uh, if he keeps his winning ways, he's going to uh, make the step up to the PGA Tour sooner rather than later. And team off on this par four. Let's go to the leader at 14. All good against Angwood Driver. Hole sets up well for his natural shape. This one's looking pretty good so far. And 180 yards out. So a longer approach here, 180 yards. And this one of the longer par fours on the course, but playing slightly downhill. All good electing to go with a six iron. And looks like a six iron. And heading for the green. And that's a very smart shot. Well, that approach is definitely on, and uh, there's a fair ways still to get to that hole. He's got a downhill 23-footer for his birdie. Has a chance. Oh, just short. Oh, and a, and a solid attempt at a long putt. Just doesn't want to drop. All right, let's take a peek at the leaderboard now. And just check out this scorecard. Seeing a lot of birdies on there. And that's definitely one of the reasons we are seeing this round of eight under so far. Yeah, John, it's fantastic. And moving on to the 15th here. It's just, it's great to see. It's great to see. All right, I'll go with three wood here on the shorter par four 15th. I think he'll like that. And from 150 yards. Sitting at a buck 50 to the pin here. Ball slightly above his feet. I'll go to let him go with an 8 iron. And here's an 8 iron. It's a good one. It's a great one. And I think he will like that. And this for the birdie. Three footer for birdie. <laughs> That's, what can you say? And after that one, he's still holding on to the first place spot. Nine under for the day. And now setting up on the 16th tee. 
Ooh, a very enticing location there for the pin. One that could get you into some trouble. Falco could let him go with seven iron here. I'm going with the seven iron on this one. He's taking a more conservative approach to the center of the green. I think content at this point to two putt for a birdie. A two putt for a par, I should say. It just was on the collar. And I think he will be pleased with that. That's pretty well done here. Yeah, I think I'd like him to chip this ball, though. Just off the fringe. Oh. And tapping it in for the par. And after that one, nine under is the score. And that means he's first overall on the leaderboard. And now setting up for the par four. Two holes to play for him today, John. The, uh, the 17th here is an interesting looking par, th par four. Could call for a little fade around the corner from all good. Well, so far so good for this one. And it's he's going through the branches here, folks. And it does trickle out onto the fairway. A little, little brush with the trees on the left-hand side there. Well, you'll probably like that from 115 yards out. Now setting up to look straight down at the pin here. Little to no wind to speak of. I could go with Sandwich. This one's looking good, folks. Yeah, controls the distances on his wedges just superbly. Okay, and he's on the green now. And this one's about eight feet. All right. The left to rider for another birdie to get to ten under on the day. And that one drops for the birdie. And he's sticking to the same position he was at uh, after that hole. Now a full 10 shots clear of Glickich and Shelton. Teeing it up here on the 18th. All right, par 5 18th, all good with driver. And look at this drive, just screaming off the club face. And about 215 yards away. Well, he definitely can go for it. Pins in an interesting spot here on the green, just behind that big left to right ridge. So again, judging the uh, judging the distance is very important here. Look at hitting him. Going with the hybrid here. Uh, three hybrid, trying to bring it in from the left hand side. Make it a little bit long though. I think it'll just roll off the back. Yeah, it just does. And that one's going to miss the green. And that's weird because his uh, his greens and regulation have been pretty good this round. Just chipping on here for his third shot. Not his best effort, but I think he'll be okay with that. From here, this is about 10 feet away. There it is. And that one will drop for birdie. And as this one uh, comes to an end, second round, and he's in first place. Luke, your thoughts? Well, you've got to take your hat off to them. To play like that through 36 holes, well, that's the reason why they have such a huge advantage over the field. If they can just deliver something remotely close to that over the weekend, they should run away with the time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure to bring the coverage to you today, but make sure you tune in tomorrow. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right there, that's just a masterful round of golf from Colt Allgood, sitting very comfortably atop the leaderboard at uh, 18 under par for the tournament, a full 11 shots clear of Michael Gligic of Canada and Robbie Shelton of the United States. And Drew Weaver has joined them at 7 under as well. But I think at this point, the question is not whether or not Allgood's going to win, but what the margin of victory is going to be. And we'll know in 36 holes whether or not he can add another web.com victory to his uh, to his trophy cabinet but make sure to check back in very soon uh, as always uh, I remind you to please subscribe to the channel and leave the thumbs up and uh, follow along with me as we go down this road to the PGA Tour here on the Golf Club 2019 as always thank you guys again for watching and just keep swinging <laughs>